Now to add some motion path for our graphics here, for example, I've got my ghost, and if our revenue trends are going up, maybe I'd like to have him fly up. For example, let me go ahead and select the ghost. Well, I'm trying to click on him, but I can't. I'm getting the big arrow in the way here. So what I can do to get around him is either tab forward until I hit him, or shift tab, and I can go backwards until I can have him selected. And then I can go ahead and add my effect. Come over here in the custom animation pane. If you don't have it up, of course, you want to come up here on the animations tab to the animations group and click on custom animation to bring it back up. Have your object selected and click on add effect and let's add a motion path. We want him to go diagonal. Uh, let's do up and right. Click on it. He's going up and right. Now, if it's not exactly where I want him to go, or maybe I want to get really particular, remember you can go to your view tab and show your grid lines here, but I'm not that particular. Go back to my animation. What you can do is you can click on the path here and you can see green is for start and the red is for where it will end. You can hover over the white handle at the end where the red arrow is until you get a two-way arrow pointing in opposite directions. Then you can click and drag that and have him end earlier or click and drag and have him end later way up in the corner here. Of course, I'll, you can switch him around just have him go straight left as well. In fact, if you hold down the shift key, it'll keep it horizontal here. But let me just click and drag him over here. Okay. So he's going to fly left first. Let's see what happens here when I click on the slideshow button. Of course, I've got all my animation effects going through with the text, but let me click to get through those real fast. Ooh, pretty cool, but that's not the trend. He's supposed to go up. Well, let me hit the escape key. Maybe his first trend is to go left and then up. Well, how do we add another effect to the same object here? First, we need to select him. Again, it's trying to select the arrow, so I'll shift tab to go backwards and have him select, or you can just hit the tab key until you finally get to your object. Once I have him selected here, notice in the uh, custom animation pane, I can add another effect. So what I'll do is I'll click on Add Effect. I'll go down to Motion Paths, and let's do, um, let's do just something diagonal here. Okay, I've got a problem. He's going to be broken. He's going to go left, and then he's going to go up. Let's see what it looks like. Click on the slideshow. Let me click through all these text animations. He's going to go left. And then what's going to happen when I click again? He goes, pops back and then goes up. I mean, that's kind of cool. But what I can do with these uh, paths here is I can manipulate them. And what I mean by is that I wanted him to uh, first fly to the left and then go up. All I have to do is click and select the path over here and hold it and drag it and connect it. So the green is connecting with the end of the red. So what will happen is that once he hits the red and it's connecting green, then he'll start from that point and go diagonally up. In fact, let me hover over the middle handle and have him shoot all the way over here. will look kind of cool. When I'm ready, go ahead and click on the slideshow button, go through all my animated text here, the effects, and here we go. The ghost flies, then I have to click again for him to shoot up and diagonal. That looks nice. Okay, but instead of all the clicks, what I'd like to do is that um, after the effect of the animation here, maybe have this just start automatically, and so I don't have to do as many clicks. So there's the first one, it's number six, which flies from left to right, and then number seven goes from over to the left and up. So I can select both of those and just right click and say start after previous, or you can come up here and click on the drop down arrow and say after previous. So it sees it as one, so when it hits the last one here, it should start. Let's click on the slideshow button, go through all the text, clicking, and then without clicking, he just he flies and goes through his automated motion there without me again having to click. Hit the escape key and looks good. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.